this is a linear voltage regulator. Its function is to provide a steady and constant output voltage. In this video, we will be providing a brief explanation of how it works, followed by a demonstration of our prototype. Firstly, let us analyze the circuit diagram of a linear voltage regulator. Now, shown over here is our circuit schematic from the electronic circuit simulation software Multisim. Over here, we have our input voltage, the bipolar junction transistor, which is activated by the output of the operational amplifier. The operational amplifier gets its inputs from a reference voltage provided by the Zener diode and from the feedback voltage provided by the potential meter. Essentially, what the operational amplifier does is to pick up any errors from the output voltage and tell the bipolar junction transistor to adjust accordingly, so we can have an error-free constant output voltage. The output voltage is measured by the oscilloscope over here, and this output is provided to our load which is either a 100 ohm resistor or a 1 kilo ohm resistor. And with that, let us now proceed to the demonstration of our prototype. Now, before we begin, let us identify the various parts of our prototype on this strip board over here to what was discussed in the circuit schematic. As you can see from the label, here is our input voltage. And over here are our Zener diodes which will be providing our first input to the operational amplifier. Only one diode will be used at a time. The one above is used for 6 volt to 5 volt conversion, and the one below is for 12 to 10. The biggest component over here is our potential meter which provides the second input to the operational amplifier. If you look closely at this area, you can see that there's something underneath the orange wire. That is our bipolar junction transistor. Finally, over here is our output voltage and followed by our 100 ohm load and our 1 kilo ohm load. Now, let us proceed with our demonstration. Now as you can see, our measured values are not exactly at 5 volts or 10 volts, but they are rather close. So with that, we have come to the end of our demonstration. Thank you for your time in watching this video.